failure is the best thing that ever happened to me. And I think that that's probably true for any woman who has been lucky enough to fail, who is operating at a very high level or who has uh, high potential. Because we all do well in school and then we enter the, the commercial workplace, which was not really made for us. And we struggle and struggle and struggle with work-life balance and family and what are we going to do. And we're terrified of failure. And when I failed somewhere in the middle of my career, I realized first, it wasn't a big deal. And secondly, it freed me up to do the thing that I love. The first thing I would say in answer to that is that women are ridiculously comfortable negotiating. We negotiate all the time. We negotiate relationships. We negotiate family, we negotiate community. We are, in fact, the social glue that holds the planet together. And I think most women need only ask themselves this question. Who is it who makes peace in the family between far right wing Uncle Bob and Marxist husband Ted, right? It's always the women who are doing that. Stand in line at a grocery store. Two women standing in line by the time they get to the cash register will know whose kids are in rehab and will have connected. And that is what negotiation is. What women have trouble doing is asking for something for ourselves. And we think that that's negotiation. We also think that negotiation is like sharp practices and fooling people and trying to get more than we deserve. So number one, uh, we are making less than we deserve already. So what we have to do is reach wage parity, close our own personal wage gap. That is not asking for too much. That's asking for what we deserve. And then we do what we do in the grocery line or at the dinner table or at the PTA.